Mansfield Reformatory, the most infamous prison in the world. Not only from Shawshank Redemption, but from the true horrors of murder and torture that took place here, fueling dark entities that continue to become far more malevolent as each day passes. And tonight, we captured paranormal evidence unlike anything we have ever seen before. Each of us did, all throughout this prison fortress. I will not do this challenge. People have been physically harmed up here. Probably the best evidence we've ever had. Holy! Hello? Oh, what was that? I have never seen anything like that in my life. What's up, everyone, and welcome to or welcome back to the Overnight Channel. Corbin's back. Hello, everybody. We got Corbin in halfway through this road trip section that we're on right now. Let's go. here for the rest of it, all the yes. way through, all the way to Sally House. Yep. Yes. Until the next leg. You know, and we got two more nights with Aaron. Oh. And Aaron's going back. So you got Hot Reformatory and Crescent Sanatorium. I specifically asked you to stay for tomorrow night. <laughs> I told because that lie. place. Massive. It's bigger than this. Yeah. <laughs> it's, you're gonna have so much fun. <laughs> so much fun. Do we look like Corbin's here to replace me. I'm uh, excited. I had a great time. <laughs> I'll uh, be in the RV warming it up for you guys. It's gonna be cold. There's one other thing. I don't know the details of it. All I know is apparently paranormal activity in the in the recent weeks has gone through the roof. Spike. Really? Yes. Okay. Mm. That's all I know. Do they tell you what kind? No, I was like, I'm not gonna ask. I'm gonna find out. Same time you do, and the same time we all do. Right. <laughs> Can someone else get locked in the basement this time? Yeah, sure, Matt. No, I'm not okay. in the basement. Absolutely not. All, all, all in favor of Matt being locked in the basement? We're good with we're all, good all in favor. Yeah. 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 Cool. Oh, cool. oh, hilarious, guys. Evan, Jonah, are you guys, guys, guys in favor? So, yeah. Yeah. Hands up, hands up. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's okay. awesome. You guys will have to catch me first. So that was that's great. General consensus. Fantastic. Hmm. Corey, you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. I'm going to catch you if we break your leg. Do you guys see all the bats just flying I know, us dude, as is, we're walking? This is like Batman's lair. That is really cool. Corbin's Did it look like a winter wonderland oh, yeah. before? Corbin, you gotta do the reformatory. You gotta oh, do the oh, yeah, yeah, I forgot do. about it. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh. Uh oh, someone dropped their okay. hand, so. It worked. <laughs> it worked. It worked. He's coming. That's, Wait, yeah. did it? Yeah, that somebody's coming. Oh! oh. <laughs> oh. It worked. Yeah. Yeah. We're doing the reformatory now. Mansfield Reformatory, also known as Ohio State Reformatory, is a notorious prison home to some of the most dangerous criminals with an equally dangerous history of paranormal activity. Over its 94 year history as an active prison, it boasts 250,000 square feet and was home to about 154,000 inmates over this span. It is considered one of the most haunted locations in the country and now welcomes more than 120,000 visitors per year. Most notably, it has the world's largest freestanding cell block, five stories high. In 1867, Mansfield was selected to be the location for a new intermediate penitentiary, originally serving for inmates that were too old for juvenile correction centers and had minor offenses. The total cost was just over $1.3 million to build this massive structure. Built between 1886 to 1910, it was designed with the intent to inspire inmates to want to be re born and to help society to motivate and rehabilitate them. The first inmates, 150 in total, were forced to help complete the construction of the facility since funding was too low for paid workers. Their first task, constructing the prison sewer system and a 25 foot wall all around the property, a wall that they may very well never see the other side of again. Since its inception, death, accidents, and injury became common, if not expected, at Mansfield. 
meant for younger adults convicted of minor felonies. By the 1930s, it was transformed into a high security prison and quickly became home to not only the worst criminals, but notorious for the worst treatment of inmates and extreme overcrowding. With a massive influx of inmates in all federal prisons throughout the 1920s to 1940s, Mansfield continually doubled its occupancy well beyond its capacity. By 1926, the first prison guard was shot and killed. His murderer, sentenced to death in the electric chair a year later, 1932, another guard was beaten to death by several prisoners, two of which were convicted and sentenced to death, again by the electric chair. 1948, the prison farm superintendent, his wife, and his daughter were murdered by two inmates. This was an act of revenge. However, they went to the wrong house and continued on a killing spree, taking the lives of at least four others and injuring many more. It ended in a shootout. One of the men survived. He was then sentenced to death by the electric chair. With many more unfortunate fates inflicted upon the guards, the inmates suffered far worse. Murder among inmates was expected. Suicide to avoid it was common. Disease was rampant and unprevented. By the 1960s, it was no longer anything similar to a reformatory, but a vicious maximum security prison with equally vicious punishments. Inmates were sent to the hole, a solitary confinement cell without a bunk to sleep on, a tiny space in the pitch black with two buckets. Although they weren't alone, they shared their space with rats and cockroaches cockroaches, using whatever they could to block their ears at night so nothing could crawl in. If two inmates were sent into the same hole, it was done so with the intent that only one would come out. This area is considered to be one of the most active sections due to the long history of anguish and suffering, an area designed for 20 inmates that would house up to 100 at times. Many inmates were murdered here simply to make a bit more space. This location is known to make visitors feel overwhelmed overwhelmed, nauseous, cold, and even feelings of breathing down their necks while hearing footsteps, muffled voices, and at times, screams. Throughout the hallways, there's a belief that a 14-year-old boy wanders them after his horrific passing, being beaten to death in the basement. Inmates have even lit themselves on fire in their own cells. Due to the large quantity of death, it's hard to figure out the identity of individual spirits or entities. Yet what is clear is that paranormal activity is rampant all throughout the building. There is even a graveyard on site with over 200 bodies, many of which are unclaimed. Each cell block, the west wing, the attic, the chapel, the guard towers, the infirmary, the chair room, administration ward, every single square foot of this property, all 250,000, has reports of the unknown. Prior to it even being open to the public, paranormal stories were whispered among inmates and guards, fully operational through the 1980s until conditions became so terrible that the prison itself was sued by the inmates. And in 1990, the lawsuit was successful and the United States Federal Court ordered it to be closed. A prisoner's class action lawsuit due to overcrowding and inhumane conditions was won. In 1995, attempts were made to preserve the historic building and turned it into a museum with a history full of horror. Every type of paranormal evidence you could ever imagine has been captured here. And tonight, something beyond our wildest imagination. This is the best evidence we've ever had. Something we never thought was truly possible from the spirit realm was caught on camera. What's up everyone? I finally made it to the UK. We're out here filming some videos just outside of London now and we're making our way up to Scotland. And the beauty of that is, if you want to help with global reforestation and preserve the natural woodlands of Scotland in a fun and unique way, that I have to tell you about established title. Their title packs are based on a historic Scottish custom where landowners are referred to as lords and ladies. And these give you at least one square foot of dedicated land on a private estate. Plus an official certificate with a crest on it and your unique plot number so you can see exactly where your plot of land is. This means you can officially change your name to lord or lady. You can put it on credit cards or plane tickets. You could even put it on a dating profile have fun with it. And the best part is established titles plant a tree with every purchase 
working with global charities such as One Trees Planted and Trees for the Future. And this also makes a great gift, especially a last minute one when Christmas starts rolling around. The first 200 people that use my link to purchase their own title pack, you will essentially be my Scottish neighbors with our parcels of land being relatively next to each other. And if enough of us do this, we can have like our own overnight kingdom in the middle of Scotland, which I will be visiting really soon. And if you want an additional 10% off of your purchase, just use code overnight at establishedtitles.com slash overnight. This is essentially an extremely early Black Friday sale. So please check it out and I'll keep you guys updated as we keep traveling further north to visit our own overnight kingdom in Scotland. And of course, thank you all so much for watching and enjoy the video. Good to see you again. Nice to see you guys. <laughs> Welcome to my humble home. <laughs> you live here by yourself? Yes. Okay. I think you guys are in for a treat tonight. Yeah. Uh, activity has kind of like amped up. Really? Oh yeah. So as we get to those areas, oh, can yeah. you tell us what's been happening? Oh yeah. That way we don't be too close to the front door. Right? <laughs> and, you know what I mean? and some of the activity, it's so current that the happened last night. What? Was there an investigation here last yes. night? Well, I like that smile. I haven't seen him smile like that before. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Yeah. What happened last <laughs> night? Good. Well, I'll tell you when we get there. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. The exit is there. Yeah. <laughs> Matt is so scared of like, Aaron's never been here either, but Aaron's just like. But he, he, he's, he's like brave, isn't he? He's no. Like, he's dead inside of brave. Two different things. <laughs> <laughs> just kind of starting the most active area. Oh, oh let's your lead. Let's go. Thanks, thanks lead. <laughs> right now, we're up on the third floor, East Admin. Uh, this, well, this whole third floor is extremely active. Now, what this area was used for, these were guest bedrooms. No prisoners were really up here, except maybe some trustees who would entertain the guests. Mm. On that the stage. stage. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I remember that. Yeah, yeah that's I remember, remember that, that too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you're, you're pretty good. Thank you. <laughs> He's a Shakespeare. He was, was the best that night too, actually. Okay, I've been investigating since 1991. I've never seen an apparition or a shadow person until one night right here. What? It was in 2019. Uh, my paranormal team were the resident paranormal team here and we were having training that night. And I was sitting on the stage and we got another investigator in that room over there, right at the exit sign. As I'm sitting there, I see a shadow figure come up the stairs, take a right and walk down the hallway. Right after that, I heard growling coming from the middle of the room here. And then right after that, I heard church bells. Wow. I, I didn't make this stuff up. Wow. I mean, I, I actually heard that stuff. So a lot of people have been hearing the growling from this area. Oh, oh no, I know this Paranormal room. Paranormal activity in the West Administrative Wing. I know it. Go ahead, read, read it. What does it say, Matt? Paranormal activity in the West Administrative Wing. I've known volunteers who have been walking down this hall during the daytime and the growling was actually following them. Oh my God. I do dude. know of uh, people who walked by past this room and have heard growling coming out of the room. And what people also see too, they'll sit in these benches in that hall and they'll look up the stairs, which, uh, yeah. you know, once your eyes adjust, uh, you can see like shadow figures <laughs> coming down. Now, just last Friday night, Let me come over here. just last Friday night, uh, one, of, one of my team members was doing a ghost walk. A ghost walk is a two hour guided tour. And as they're going down that way, they see this, uh, they described it as a dark gray, hunched over small figure. Walk down the hallway and take a right and go into one of those rooms. So, so shadow figures are seen in this area. Another full body apparition. Yeah, and this was just last Friday. That was last Friday? Yeah. Oh, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I've heard stories too where uh, there was a team sitting on the bench. They looked over right where you're at and they saw a shadow figure standing there. Uh, proceeded to get down on all fours and scurry down the hall. What? I'm out. Matt, come on in, come on, come on. That's, that's actually where the Grim Reaper is. It's just a good Why? <laughs> just for you. For me? Can yeah. I sit down? This, this is your room. You do. Right? Do you yeah. Know? This is the room. Oh my gosh. All right. Um, come sit down, take a seat. Ooh. Ah. It's like someone tried to make their way out. Yeah, exactly. Someone was like, okay, I don't want to be here anymore. What happens here is when people sit in the chair, they experience things. 
uh, such as voices. You may hear the growling. Something may touch you or the chair may start shaking. Recently, as people get attacked, sit in the chair. Whoa, where are you going? <laughs> Not getting attacked. Is this is where the attacks happen? Yes. We do this thing called a chair room challenge, where you come in, you sit in the chair by yourself with the lights off. Let's do it. You know, for like 15 minutes. What do you think? So it's when you're not doing the challenge we're gonna attack. It's in a situation like this. Really are you serious? Like people are in the room, someone will still get attacked in there. Had uh, we had attacks last night. Wow. Oh, you're about to pull out a photo. Yep. Oh, mm -hmm. what? What? Scratch. Oh, that's a big one. No way. Oh, sh that's like almost like a bird. Wow. You turn off the lights, you can't even see your hand in front of your face. No, of course not. Prove it. Prove it, prove it. There we go. Oh, whoa. Wait, you're not joking. <laughs> so, but, uh, hey, did, did you guys see the, the photo of the portal in here? The what? The portal. <laughs> <laughs> The there's, like, there's, a there's, a there's a portal. Open. Wait, what's going on right now? Where's the portal at? <laughs> I don't know. Wait, turn the lights off. Everyone turn the lights off. I showed you guys last time. <laughs> <laughs> what the? Oh my god. Corbin, what's happening right now? Wait, don't turn the lights off one more time. Don't do it. Please. Don't do it. Okay. Don't do it. Oh my god. Is there something on purpose? <laughs> what the? What the hell? What do you want for Christmas? <laughs> Just Sponsor. walk straight through there it. and look to the right. Nah. Go ahead. Go on, do it. Go on, do it. If one of you Just guys... Just ain't even a chance. I'll be right behind you. Just, right right Just go right through up. there and look to the right. Keep going. 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 Oh my god. Why? Oh my god. Oh, I don't know. Dude, yeah! Watch your step. Oh, and, and if you like heights, look down. I hate heights, but I still have It makes it look so small right here. Oh, dude! Oh my god. This is the room. This is it. This is it. Dude, the room. insane stuff. What happened in here? <laughs> Bro, I never and I ever at the same time oh, saw a figure. No, what? Like, yeah. You, you just wait. Greg is so happy right now. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm just tickled with pain. <laughs> <laughs> I'm worked up. In 1930, this was still an intermediate prison for basically first time young nonviolent offenders. These guys coming from the penitentiary, there were your murderers, your rapists, your lifers, your felons. You don't see any cells. No. Yeah. Oh, so they were all just in here. None of this ductwork was here. I was gonna the ask only thing that would have been here was cots. Guards aren't going to patrol this area. Shut the door, lock them in, whatever went on, went on. When I was up here earlier, there was a lot of banging and, and just a lot of weird noises. Like said, footsteps, uh, some like stuff falling. Or it's, I went back and listened to the audio and yeah, you can hear bangs and stuff. Mm. But like the way that you're saying, it sounds like there was a lot of banging back in the day too. Yeah, oh yeah there was, yeah. A lot of weird noises. A lot of weird noises. A lot of weird noises, yeah. yeah. But what people experience here, you know what, maybe I won't even tell you. Are you see those chairs way back there? Yeah. All right, you just go back and sit in one. Why, so you guys can leave me in here? I don't think so. You turn off the lights yeah. and sit there uh, by yourself and see how long you can last. I give it 10 seconds. That's normally how long he lasts. Yeah, yeah. on a yeah. good day. Yeah. We can just shut the door. Well, yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's good. Well, it's let's put bad. it this way. I've had a lot of experiences up here and I kind of like know what goes on. I will not do this challenge with the lights off. I'll do it with, you know, with the lights on, except back there by myself. But I've had too many experiences up here. Is it more of like a harmful thing? People have been physically harmed up here. Um, Could one or two of us walk down there and sit in the chairs while we turn the lights off? Let's go. Oh, I'll, I'll go, go with turn. people. Can I sit on your lap? I heard one or two, and yeah, there seems to be. I'll go. I'll go with somebody else. Right. We kind of look like the. the yeah, right. so I love you. Anymore. All right, the question is how long can that last with Corey there? Turn your light off! Turn your light off!
you know, see me. Dude, it just felt like someone was like here the yeah. entire time. I think at the devil's hour, that might be a little bit crazy. <laughs> uh, we're up on the fourth tier. There's actually six tiers here. Uh, there's about 100 cells on each tier, so about 600 cells over here. Two to three inmates to a cell, so could have been 1,200 to 1,800 inmates over here. Wow. Now, there were a lot of suicides in these cells, too. Like I said, I, I've got newspaper articles about all these hangings here. Jesus. They would just take bed sheets yeah. and just tie it around the top of the cell and then just go limp. Another challenge here that's, that's very simple. You just walk down these 50 cells, go along the backside, and walk back 50 cells. That's too much light coming from the camera. Yeah. That's why you yeah. can't see it. That's not it. Yeah. Yeah, no. Oh, oh my God. God. Your eyes would adjust. When, we, you, when we walk down there, you, you'll be able to see. Let's go down there like this. And right then there. sometimes when people experience, you do her footsteps coming up behind you. Yeah. You hear voices coming from the cells. Bro, it's this will this will be so scary to go by yourself because you don't know where it's coming dark. from. You don't know where it's coming from. Yeah, how about you go in front of me? Oh, <laughs> And then we're going to take a left. It's like, go up the stairs. Oh, <laughs> you <laughs> Oh my god! Ah, yes. <laughs> so there's one place left we haven't seen. Solitary confinement. We've been doing this every once in a while where we do a little quiz show. And whoever the last one to get something right oh my god. is the person who loses. Or if you get something wrong, mm -hmm. you also automatically lose. And whoever that person is, I think it's only fair by themselves in solitary confinement. <laughs> Didn't I have to do that last time? You did. did. Can I sit out of this? Because I've already experienced How about this? How about you host, how about you host the quiz show? I already experienced this. It would be so rude would, to get that be. opportunity Honestly, it'd be, twice. It'd be kind of boring. He'd also it'd be cool to revisit. I think it'd be, I think it'd be really boring. No. I don't think it's fair. I think They'll remember you. Show. You'll be fine. Stop. Yeah, yeah see, my thoughts thought, exactly. That's the thing. He'll be fine. That's not what we want. We want not fine. We want not okay. We want incredibly unsafe. No, he is. Terrifying conditions. Nothing's going to be Okay, the no. world is burning yeah. and you're gonna die. That Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the first ever. What should we call this? Uh, 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 a man's um, uh, field. A, a man's um, field. Over, over Nick at night. Over naked night? No, Nick at night. Over Nick at night. <laughs> over Nick at night. No, I don't like that anymore. Take oh, it no. back. Take it back. It's off the table. It's off yeah. the table. I don't like it anymore. Nick, Nick um, Jr. Welcome to the Devil's Hour Quiz Show! <laughs> Today, we have four very good looking contestants. We have Aaron. Is that a ghost? Doherty! And next to him, we have Elton. Is that a K2 in your pants or are you just happy to see me? Casting! We also have Corbin the Zorbin Reinhardt! And to the left, or your right, I'm not judging, we have Matt. Today, we are trying to set these lucky gentlemen up with the soulmate of their life. But the only way that they can find that soulmate is where, Aaron? In the solitary confinement. That's right, everyone clap. That's right, that's right, that's right. And... Take it away! Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> that wasn't even great. Thank that you. Was... Approximately how many cells are on each cell block? 100. No. No, you're out. Oh, oh, he man. just won! Oh, oh, he just won! Don't do the rules! He yeah. just won! He said 100! No! No, no we it. didn't! No. I know it. No, it's 600. 600. You're out. You said on each one. No, no. I said no. each cell block. No, out. He lost. One he cell block. He lost. He lost. One. He lost. No, no, no. One is a block. That's a tier. Block. You're the host That's of the show. Tier. I didn't see you. Oh, I, so I misunderstood the question. No, you, no. Hey, but you also chose to answer hatefully. <laughs> because I'm technically right. Everyone else is technically right. He said this block. This is a block. No, there is no way. Wait, you guys have it on the video. Yeah. Yeah. Can I get a replay? Can I? Can I get a replay real quick? Approximately how many cells are on each cell block? 100. We reviewed the footage. <laughs> Who reviewed it? 
<laughs> who? Who reviewed the footage? The, the we did. Uh -huh. No. And nope. um, we're not we're not quite sure what to do. The so. viewers have also said that there's a chance that he misheard the question. Yes. So is it fair to make him go down there alone if he misheard it? Yes! yes! What? If that? Matt survives a whole new round, he doesn't oh have to God. go. Mm -hmm. But if he loses again, what happens? We blindfold him and take him wherever we want. Not a because he said oh! not solitary. Oh! So oh, instead of solitary, no blindfolding, no solitary. No solitary. No solitary. Yes. We'll take you somewhere else. No blindfolding, no solitary. I'll go by myself somewhere. Not blindfolded, not solitary. <laughs> well, you gotta go. Okay. In the attic. <laughs> That's tough. Now, I'm, I'm, you guys corrected me, so now I'm going by. I'm and we this. will be right back after this commercial break. Can you not poopy? That's cool. We have something called Laxitov. It helps you poopy, even if you can't poopy. Sometimes I took a little too much Laxitov, and I had my organs fall out of me. That's just a disclaimer that I put in the video because if you didn't hear it, then you would probably sue us. <laughs> Laxitov, for that time that your pooper is a little bit stupor. <laughs> Matt, what do you say? Come on. And, am I counting? And we will be right back after this commercial break. Are you in the joint and you need bubble gum, cigarettes, or maybe a cell phone? Get you a prison pocket. Two. Uh, for the price of one. Hello? What do you mean I'm not getting out? Never mind, back in the prison pocket. <laughs> All right, Matt, what are you thinking? I'm negotiating this. We block. will be right back after number. this commercial break. <laughs> do you have hemorrhoids? Charmin. <laughs> Matt? I'm what? What are you thinking? I I suggest this block. We will be right back after this commercial break. Do you need a new bed or oh, toilet? No. Welcome to oh, sleep. No. It's okay. Oh, I'm doing this block. We will be right back after this commercial break. I'm doing break. this. Who's trying to f I'm scared. We will be right back after this right commercial sell. break. Are you f stupid? Well, you should probably read more books. The, the more, more you know. know. We've had a little while to think. Contemplated. I've contemplated. A lot of ads that went by. We've actually made a ton of money because of all this. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Badoo. Good chunk. Yeah. Shout out to Badoo. Shake on it. If I lose. Okay. Shake on it. it. Shake on it. Greg, don't <laughs> me, man. Well, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I wasn't talking about that kind of shit. <laughs> Shake on it. Get it get all right. It. Okay. <laughs> Let's play the game. How many cells are on each tier? Ooh. I was Oh, yeah, but is, is this, no, hold on real quick, real quick. Is this like Jeopardy? You, you didn't let your hands fast. Your hands not even up anyway. I was first? Yes. Okay, I'm there's a hundred in each tier. Correct. I'm safe, baby, I'm safe! Sticking with the east cell block. Ooh, oh, f east side. What year was it built? Oh, the oh, east one? Man, Which know, one's I east? I'm not really this is, right this is where we are. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna take a chance. <gasps> All right, you know you're wrong. Oh, hey, you Oh, 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 oh. You have to answer, and now if wait, wait, wrong. and if he gets it wrong, yeah, what he loses. He loses. 1910. Very good. Let's go! Let's go! Wow. Let's go! I was not expecting Let's that. Let's go, Greg. What year was the West Cell Block built? I know. I think, I think I know I'm this is a tough it. one. I, I think I, I know, think it, but I'm, I'm not. I'm, not I'm gonna whisper it to you, Greg. I'm not. I'm not confident in it. No? Wow! You know, you know the one Goddard. thing the, the, the show was missing? Every big game has what? An amazing halftime show. And uh, We'll be right back after the halftime show. Baby, 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 oh. I thought you'd always be mine, mine. I believe there's three challenges, right? Yes. There are three challenges. There's also three new people here. Oh. Interesting. Dibs on Dibble carrying new, the camera. New, oh, you're talking about Jonah? Yeah. Oh. Dibs yeah. on taking a camera. I'm not really a person, technically. That's true. He's actually not. That is yeah. Not. Like, it's like, he's like a part robot. We'll be right back after this commercial break. You ever get cold at night in your cell? Why not use a cellmate? Go ahead.
My shoe's stuck. Okay, we have decided on a game plan. Yeah. In honor of Greg, we're going to do all three challenges, plus an additional one. I am still going to go to solitary confinement. Good for you. Corbin has volunteered to do the chair room. Mm -hmm. Matt has volunteered to do the cell block challenge. Was that volunteering? Did yeah. you volunteer it was. For that? It actually it was. was. It was. Yeah. I, I actually didn't think Matt was going to go alone. He's like, I'll do it. I was like, okay. <laughs> and then you guys are going up to the attic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So for this to make sense, what's going to happen now is I'm going to walk Corbin to the chair room. Okay. Back there, that tiny yep. dark room. And I'm going to set up his camera. And then I'm gonna go all the way down to solitary confinement. I don't remember where it is. Good luck. All of you are going to go all the way up to the attic in which Matt will then leave the attic by himself to do the cell block challenge. Mm. Okay. Ha. And Corbin can't leave the chair room. He has to do Matt, the whole thing? Until Matt has done the entire hey, cell block. I walk real fast when I'm yeah. here. Don't worry, you're gonna be you in that better. room for like four minutes, bro. Yeah, you better be running, not even walking. You better speed walk that. <laughs> so you can't leave the chair room until Matt comes in and gets you out. And I can't leave solitary confinement until the two of you find me down there. You're gonna oh, be there for wow. a while. I don't Damn. know where that is. And you yeah. guys can't leave the attic until the three of us come up to the attic to get you. <laughs> okay. Um, Jesus Christ. So that yeah, is we're going to be up there for like 40 minutes at least. Yeah. And, and, then, and then Jonah will be by himself doing B-roll with the helmet cam on. Are you really giving him the helmet cam? Yeah, he's getting the helmet cam. I'll like to see that. One, One, two, three. Devil Show! One, three. Devil Show! Oh, no, that's just reflecting. Why does this thing get so much worse with that on? It really does. <laughs> oh my god, this is terrible. This is awful, man. This is what it looks like in here, with just your cat ball. Jesus Christ, you need to make sure that that camera is open in place. Okay. The cat ball is nice. Dear Lord they? Jesus Christ, please protect us against all evil. And I call upon the Archangel Michael to wrap your wings around us and protect us from all evil or anything dark that would want to harm us. So the camera's off. Camera's off. Okay. You're rolling. See everything in the room. Okay. Uh, I have to go find solitary confinement now. Okay, we definitely need to set something up like almost right at this dude. What the? Hello. Hello? Is someone down there? Oh. Yo. What? Bro, wait, it's Yo, there, there's something down here, dog. You haven't even made it down here yet. Bro, you don't understand. We just started setting up. Setting up where? We're right here, we're gonna equipment. Yeah. You're supposed to be setting up by the chairs. No, we're gonna put something by the door, but we keep hearing noises. All right, I'm going immediately into Spirit Box. If anybody wants to talk to Spirit Box. Is anybody here? Ooh, 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 okay. Getting actually scared. Don't really get scared that often. Hello, my name is Corey. My name is Matt. And I'm Aaron, and we wanna to talk to you tonight. We don't mean any harm at all, no disrespect. We just want to communicate with you for a bit if you are willing to talk to us. The easiest way that you can talk to us is by setting off the tools that we've placed on the ground. You can either touch them. That's footsteps. Bro, why did I volunteer to go by myself? Do you like the darkness? I 
I notice this room has no windows. It must be tough to see. Do you say you hurt yourself? Sometimes. You happen to be trapped down here alone. I know you can't leave. But I can keep you company. I don't know what you did. It made you deserve to be sent down here. But I'm at least willing to listen and hear you out. Dude, I swear I'm seeing shadows go past the doorway. Because you know you can see like a little bit of the light through it? Yeah. I swear I keep seeing it going back and forth. It's so far away the camera can't even pick it up. Could you make a knot or something to let us know you're here? Well, hello? Remember, you can talk to me through the cat balls that are on the floor. Any spirits that might be down here coming to join you for the night? This is so much bigger than I remember. Coming down here to have a conversation. See if anyone is still here. I don't want to touch you in any form. I would just like to talk. That's why we use these devices to talk to you. If you make one of our devices go off, I'll play some Johnny Cash. What was Ooh. that? I'll make you a deal. At the end of the hall down there, that red light in front of the door, you touch that device or touch that antenna, and I'll play some Johnny Cash for you. I heard you like him. Would it be possible to touch one of the balls on the ground to tell me that you're here? Oh, that is horribly terrifying. Why is this one lone desk here? In this cage. Okay. I'm gonna set up this camera. Another desk. Alright, Matt. Uh, oh, this is not a bright flashlight at all. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys uh, after I get Corbin.
No, no. I have to get Elton first. Yeah. yeah, we're probably gonna be in here for like an hour. Oh, more than that. You don't even know where solitary is. Yeah, no idea. All right, y'all. Good luck. Thanks. Put that flashlight on the ground. Have you had both hands on the camera this whole time? Yeah. Did you see that flashlight just shine out of Evan's pocket? No. I didn't. I saw a light shining out of like your hoodie front pocket and then it turned off. That's the first device. Holy f Okay? I thought I saw you in that room. Do you want to join me in here? Are you walking around? Can you... Okay. Is that you? Can you do that again? I feel like you could be a very good person who made wrong choices. No one deserves to die the way you did down here. I just saw an orb. I saw a flash of light right there in the wall. Okay, well. Oh, there's a who's a light coming out. Who was that? I don't know. Matt? Did they both just hallucinate it? No. Evan, there was a there was just a flashlight shining down there. Matt, is that you? Flashlight as if somebody was just walking in with a flashlight. Oh my god, dude, dude, I couldn't make it around the cell block, dude. I got about almost to that back corner and I hear, and then like the my face got. Freezing. Damn. You can set that little device off. It'll terrify me. If that's something you want to see, it definitely will happen. It was full on like this. And then it turned off. The unfortunate thing is we're so far away from that door that night vision can't even pick it up. I mean, if a light goes off, I'll see it, but I just see black. Like, the light can't go that far. Oh my god. I'll go up to the south. No, I won't. Okay. Is that it again? There again? Please don't use that. Yeah. Evan, 
Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm zoomed in all the way. The oh, it, yep, it, it's picking up something. see something on the camera. Dude, that's the craziest shit I've ever seen. I've never seen this. Should we walk down there? Nah, I'm not. I'm scared. I'm sure people rarely check on you. I'll give you time. Oh. My God. I need to ask Greg what the people who died down here look like because I think I just saw them. I hear you, okay. I think I just heard a footstep. Come closer, move the cap off. Are there two of you down here? Okay. I'm hearing two different noises now. One over there, one over there. I really want to get up and move the camera, but I feel like that's exactly why they're over there, because it's not pointed that way. Look! Look! Who is that? Yo, what the f***, dude? No way! I, I, I... This is the craziest I, shit I've ever seen. There's no way. I, is he hearing I, I, he, he, I can't talk right now. It's okay, it's okay. I come to save you. Thank oh, you. Bro. Lord. Bro. Oh, bro. I kept seeing lights over here. Uh huh. In the pitch black, you were seeing lights? Just like back here, and the thing is, I'm looking at that, that the GoPro kind of shines the light. On yeah, and I, I got you. There. Oh, dude. Oh my god. Evan, look. Bro, no way, dude. We're getting f but there's no way. No, I look you have to walk down there. Let's go. Okay, let's go. Let's down there. Can I be in here? I couldn't lay back on that chair. Oh, of course not. I couldn't lay back on that you chair. Can you imagine something just I know, I know. I was on the edge of my seat the whole time. I can imagine. I was even asking like, have you hurt people in here? Dog. I swear in my life, guys, I saw his face. Five foot six, five foot seven. Looked like he was 22, 23. Buzz cut hair. Not military buzz cut. Almost like a punk kind of haircut. It looked intimidating, but I think it was a front. I think he had to look that, that way. I think the choices he made were for survival. The things he did wasn't because he wanted to. He just didn't know what else to do. That's the face I saw. Jonah! How's it so bright? Could you hear us yelling? Could I hear you yelling? No. I mean, he would have heard us for sure. Yeah, no chance. 100% dude, there oh, for like 10-15 okay. minutes just watching someone with a flashlight walk back and forth. Been, that, say at least 15 minutes ago? Oh yeah, I haven't been here for 15 minutes. <sighs>
Bro, we just watched someone walk back and forth with just a flashlight. No, the they, they came in and shined their light at us and then walked back out. He was in here the whole time. He wasn't, there was nobody that went in there. And it wasn't you? No. No, no, no he's been behind, <laughs> behind doors and stuff. Bro, what? No way. You say somebody actually went in there? Yes. I thought someone was messing with us. No, no, for sure. I mean, we, yeah, no, for sure. Not me. Okay. We were, no. we were down by the chair room. When I told you guys I wasn't going to tell you what goes on up in the attic, yeah. people see what looks like people coming in with flashlights. Dude, are you being serious? No I'm way. Serious. serious. And that's, we got it on video. That's what people say they see. It looks like somebody's coming in with a flashlight and it's bouncing around. You'll call down there, there'll be no answer, and then it gets closer. You turn your lights on, but there's nothing there. Bro. That's literally what it was. No, it started happening probably 20 seconds after Matt left. Oh. Okay. Oh, 20 seconds after Matt left? Yes. Oh, okay. yeah. That's why we're like, it's Matt fucking with us. Sorry, God. Messing with us. Dude, that's like, that's the craziest thing. I but, literally... See, I never told you guys that because I wanted to see what, if you guys experience what other people experience. That's crazy. That's no way. That sounds like it's back there, though. I just felt like a door slammed to for a hitch. Okay, no, I think we go. Dude, I'm still hearing footsteps back there. I know, I know. Let's move from there. Okay. I mean, I kind of want to say it, but Corey, it looks like you've just seen a ghost. <laughs> like it, it literally looks like you've just seen a ghost. I know. I don't know what to say or think right now. What? I I I I literally need to know who was that. That went on for ten minutes, right? Yeah. It's like ten fifteen minutes. It's like nonstop. I got. Need to tell you oh, I'm sorry. Hey, you no, just scared you guys. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I said you're sorry about you. We'll tell you once we get to the break room. We'll tell you once we get to the break room. Okay. The break room. What happened? Are you okay? Right. What happened? I. There's something had to happen. Yeah. No, you don't understand. What just happened? You are. Are you crying? Okay. I'm gonna go pee and be right back. I can't. I I can't comprehend what we just saw. Come down. Come down. Come down. I'm you guys like. You physically see something? Yes. You don't understand. Are you no, you don't under. Dude, Aaron, you. Aaron, you saw it because you don't believe. No, it's on camera. No. Wait, what? It was it in your guys' room? No. Someone walked in there with a flashlight. In your room? Yes. And shined it at us. And you said, who is that? And, and then they left. And then they shined the flashlight again. And then ran away. Dude. So then we go out there. Dude. And we find. No, listen. We find. Um, Jonah. Jonah. Yeah, we find Jonah and uh, Greg. Greg. And we, when we tell him what happens, and he goes, I purposely didn't tell you guys what's been happening in the attic. And I go, what's been happening in the attic? And he goes, people have been saying that a spirit or someone keeps walking in there with a flashlight. Dude, you see, he confirmed that? <laughs> yes. He said that he didn't want to tell us because he wanted to see if it was going to happen to us. That and happened. we have it on video. That happened to me three no, times. No, no, this is before. No, it didn't. Three that times. happened to me three times in the room that I was in, the solitary room. No, it didn't. Yes. I, there was light coming through the door, and I said, is that Evan? Is that Jonah? Who is that? How, how, Nothing, how? right? It goes away, and then it came back again, and I said, okay, this has to be somebody. Who is this? Who's there? Nothing. It gets so f cold. I literally turn around and go, no, f I can't do it, I can't do it. So I almost start running back. I get back to the chapel. Who's Aaron? No, dude, no, Aaron's right above Aaron. you, it's above. Aaron's over there, that's the restrooms. Hello? Hey guys? Can you get me out of here? Oh, it's over this side! That's where I'm from. It's over here for the around. Why are you all here? You don't understand. We're trying to piece together this puzzle. Crazy. You don't understand. Why? I don't. I can't. I still can't leave. Someone came in to the attic with a flashlight. Could you see them as a person? Yes. yes. Oh, and then no they way. ran away. Ran no away. Way. They they did it for ten minutes and then they ran away. If you, I want to see that. There's no way it was me. 
I, I was so f- I was on the you other don't have side a of the flashlight. Well, unless you cheated. But I do have a flashlight. Okay. But <laughs> I, but I never I never walked anywhere near their room again. No, they came in, and then they ran away. Over here, come come over here, Aaron. What the f- was that? Dude, Dude, I just saw something behind. What? Like a cloud, not a person, like a cloud. Dude, I need to. I need. Hello? I I was frozen for five minutes. Like, I need to know what's happening right now. No, I never so came, I I, came close I, to you guys. From, from the camera side of it, it wasn't Matt, because later I saw you come in through the doorway, but holding a GoPro selfie stick. Oh, okay, okay, okay. It wasn't Greg, uh, because it was a very slender figure. And it wasn't Jonah because he wasn't holding a, a drone camera or a camera a or anything. And you know what the craziest and thing Jonah is? And Jonah walks around with music on. He won't He yeah. won't do the in silence. I was kind of literally just frozen. He was in shock. I have to see this footage. So wait, no. What happened? No. No way. No! What is it? What happened? It... Is your card gone? I wanted to show you what I got. What happened? On your camera? Did it erase? It's Waverly Hills. Fucking all over again. What happened? What happened? Look no. at the clip! It says mystery. What what is that? The, it, the files, files corrupted. The files corrupted. What did you What get? did you see? Yeah, what happened? Just, just do it from your account. Oh no. I what hope it doesn't f- corrupt the camera this that's up there right now. Yeah. It's, it's a new clip on our camera. I only rolled one clip the whole time. What'd you get? What happened? What happened? What'd you see? I'm not saying anything. What? Wait, you're just gonna take that to your grave? No, I wanna. If I recover the clip, I'll show you, but I'm just. If. No. Wow. If you were to show me a picture book of all the inmates that were down here, I guarantee you I can point out exactly who I saw. Who was it? Down there. I described him perfectly. As I saw him, I had enough time. You saw? I had enough time to look at this person that I could describe their haircut, their height, so if you their saw, facial features. If you everything. saw like a yearbook of, of inmates, you would be able to pick one out. 100%. But you, they, they, you didn't get a name or anything? I didn't have any way. I didn't have any. What was he doing? Was he just standing there? Was he walking around? Just stood there. I, I heard clear footstep, and then I heard almost like. A hand on the, it was like a, a jail cell down there. Like there was like a cage inside of solitary confinement. I was all the way down. Wow. That goes really? down more levels? Yeah, I was down where the, the well was, where it fell oh. the water. I was all the way down Is there. Is that the hole? Yes. Hello? You saw some flashlight? Yes. Yeah, dude. Right down there is bright, bright flashlight. There's no way to miss that. No way. No one is all on camera. It's like a... Uh, that's what it says. That's what it says. If we hear anything, just... Listen. Did something just walk in front of the rim pod? It did! Something's walking in front of the rim pod! I can't Wait. still see it. Here we go on another episode of Joe and the Wants to Blow His Brains Out. Oh my god. standing in front of the room. Oh.
Dude, that's crazy. I can like feel my fucking heartbeat in my neck. Just immediately. We just want to talk to you again. Can you communicate with us? No one will leave if you show yourself again. We'll stay here as long as you want us to. Now we know why you said no one can do the challenge alone. You guys were three of you and you still all left. I just can't. I am incapable of feeling fear. Nothing. Think you make me feel fear. Can you come in here? We'd like to see you again. Shine your lantern at us. Just say hello, stand there. So we did last time we kept walking past. Yeah, you're right. If one of you guys comments at one point that you see something behind me, just down. Who's down there? I just saw something pass by. Evan, did you see that? I don't know what camera is really dark. you make knocks for us or something to show us you're here? What the f was that? Thank you. Can you give us two knocks like this? What? Yeah. Oh. Thank you very much. Thank you. Can you do three? I need is a headlamp. I need a headlamp when I do this so that I can be shooting one direction with the camera and I'm just making sure I'm not getting stabbed by a little girl in all the other directions, you know? If you were an inmate here, can you give me two knocks? Two of the same. 
gets that big again, I'm going for it. Yeah. Just be careful. I don't care. <laughs> you dragged me. I'm so glad. I'm so glad you guys got to see that. Yeah. Twice. That was a big one. That's what I was doing for 10 minutes. I wish John was here. Could you imagine doing it right over here? Oh my god. I know. Where are they? They're in uh, the solitary confinement. And he has to go put the helmet on. So probably... It's dark in here. Can we get a light? I just saw it. it was faintly, not as clear as last time. Right as you asked for it, Corey. This chair is the stupidest thing I've ever seen. Oh. What a stupid chair. What a terrible idea. I hear you outside the room, outside the door, and on the ceiling, but can you come in the room? Shut up. Are you serious? Shut up. Yeah, this is my first time up here. You swear to God. I swear to God. You, how long have you been in here for? Huh? You have to go for a Yeah, no, I swear to God. How long this is your first. This? We caught you walking up for the first time. Yes, yeah, so this you is the first time. You didn't come up any of these steps at all? No. Hey, let's get Joe no, in there. No, I have not. You're like in that door? Yeah. No chance. Red bot. Red bot. Let's go. Let's go. No way. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. It's right there, though. No chance. Absolutely no chance. Yeah. Okay, we real walked quick. right by it then. Real quick, real quick. We just ran right through. So, the light must have been coming in from right here then. Bro, no way. The, if we bring Jonah in there, we, we're, we're gonna, gonna eliminate all Where's Greg? Greg's in his office. I okay. lost him a long okay, time okay, ago. Okay, okay, okay. That's crazy, dog. And then it just goes off when we leave? Look, all of us just walked by, nothing. Go in there. That's incredible. Whoa, what? Dude. I am so glad you guys got to see that. Please, oh, wow. Hmm. <coughs> what else do you want to do before we leave? Hey, cough again? Do that again. <coughs> okay. What? Can I just read something after? If what I just saw is on that camera, then that's f crazy. What? What'd what? you say? Cough again. Do that again. <coughs> what the f did what? I just see? Dude, what? what did you see? F huge, just white mist. So it's like, I thought it was just you coughing <coughs> out in the air. Yeah, I got this really weird feeling in my throat. <coughs> Do you want to get out? What did you see? What was that? Just this huge f like white mist just like right in between me and the camera. I literally thought you like you coughed or you was your breath or something, but it was enormous. Are you messing with us? It was like a vape, like straight up, it was like a vape cloud. I don't feel like he'd be all the way over here. Yeah, yeah maybe not, but I mean we could read the inmate numbers behind us. It's right on the wall. There's a strange part of me that thinks that that light was like, this sounds strange, but why, why not? But like the spirit of a guard telling the other spirits, I just saw something cross. Where? Like a shadow figure cross the doorway. I saw a little bit I've seen a couple of times. Now I can see the light again a little bit. Where we can it? see you! Oh my god. Come in here. You see that? It's okay. You just said I see you and went, oh, dude, no. Oh, 
than that. Touch that box again. Are you guys seeing that light? Yup, that's what I'm saying. Are you guys seeing that light? Yup. I see it. Yup. Yeah. I do see it. If it gets big again, I'm running. Look, look like up over the door. And you yeah, can see I it in your peripheral. Yeah, I can see it too. Yup. It's like when you look at a dim star, you have to like. You don't have to be away. Come in here. There it is. Yup, yup. I f Dude, I saw some in front of that red light right before that noise happened. Did no one else see that? No. Dude, what? Thank you. Do that again. I have never seen anything like that in my life. I'm so fucking serious. The more you guys are talking about this, the more it feels like what I was seeing behind the door was... Something. Something, yeah. I'm not gonna lie, this is probably the best evidence we've ever had. Ever, ever. had. Are you out there? Thank you. Are you a guard? No. Are you an inmate here? Are you checking in on us? What the f was that? That was behind us way back there. That sounded like it came I from out there. I thought it was from out there. Yeah. That's right, that big bang. Like in the cathedral. Are you trying to see what we're doing? Could you do something remarkable? Could you walk from the church towards us? Or from the door towards the church? Can I try talking to the guard again to see if he'll come in here? Sure. I mean, I don't care. Are the inmates out of their cells? Yeah, you know, like their vision's just going to black. Yeah. yeah. I'm, having, I'm actually having a really hard time seeing anything. It's just blurry. Yep. It's getting very hard. Yeah, I feel like I need glasses right now. I'm getting very dizzy and nauseous as well. Do I straight up feel like I'm losing my vision right now? Do you say? It's I just, I can't see anything. I can't make out anything anymore. It looks straight up like a portal right there. I'm not gonna lie. It almost feels like you're looking at a scrying mirror. Or something. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like it's just black and fuzzy. Trust me, I keep closing my eyes. It's getting very difficult. We all heard that cell opening clear as day. At like, first, I thought it was a person like. Uh, it was me too. Loud scooting noise. It sounded like a chair. Yeah. I thought it was like, a, like someone singing. It could have been them. It could have been them scooting the bench in there. Do you like music? I heard you may like Johnny Cash. I heard something. It sounded like somebody said, "Yeah." Oh, it's getting worse. I closed my eyes for a while, hoping when I reopened, I'd be able to see better, and it's worse. Tell us if you want to listen to some Johnny Cash. And I ain't seen the sunshine since I don't know when Well I shot a man in Reno Just to watch him die When I hear that whistle blowing I hold my head and cry Do you know that song? Maybe they like Elvis? Go for some Elvis. Ain't nothing but a hound dog crying all the time. Yeah. Ain't nothing but a hound dog crying all the time. 
You ain't no friend of mine. You ain't an ever shot around and you ain't no friend of mine. What it is, ho, and what's up? <laughs> Can I get in your gut? Cut you up like you ain't been cut. I <laughs> really catch a nut. Oh, so give me your number and, and I'll call. All right, we're gonna grab all our stuff. I think Brinkley that would work. That would work. We're grabbing all our stuff. I'm really surprised that I had a tiger in me. When I walk, you can hear my pill bottle rattle. <laughs> yeah, we got Boom, it. bitch. This is on. Heard of how many invest? Well, every single person on the team saw it. Every single person. Even Everyone. Jonah. Mm -hmm. Everyone. There's nothing to even debunk. Not only do we see it, it's on camera. We actually have Ex it on camera. Exactly. Oh That's why I'm so excited. So we 100% have so it, on it on camera. Multiple times. On, on camera. camera. For me. And the REM pod. What? Yeah. Oh, and you guys still haven't even seen what me and Aaron saw. No. You no, guys no, don't. No. That's what I'm saying. That's the craziest one out of all of them. I'm still almost speechless. I don't really know what else to say. I feel like at some point we have to come back here. We have to. Yeah, third, seriously. Third time to the charm. The oh, halftime cool. show, though. The halftime show is half really good. Yeah. yeah, this is a fun game. Okay, let's go watch those clips. I want to watch the footage. Please. Okay. Okay. Okay, cool. Down. Good night. See you guys in the next video.